last minute uh, character notes. Um, yeah, you haven't given me any character notes to begin with. So. Okay. okay. Um, essentially, you're both uh, late teens, early 20s, uh, enthusiastic ufologists. Um, you're... I can't remember, are you a little less skeptical and you're a little more... I can't no, I'm a little more skeptical. You're a little more skeptical. I think that's what I And um, out, of, out of the friendship, um, Isabel is slightly the more superior, because I, I think she's a little older or something like that. Of so, so, but basically, although you may object to her bossing you around a little bit, she'll do it anyway. Well, I got the impression that I was working for her or something, just for a minute. It's like no, you ju you're just uh, you're, you're friends, you're amateur uh, UFO sleuths. Uh -huh. yes. So I know Mulder and Scully. No. Um, Jenny's playing the, the, the Scully equivalent. Or oh, the Mulder okay. equivalent, actually. Uh, yeah, okay, so if the two of you could uh, pop in front of the mic, um, sort of just off mic and about 20 to 30 centimetres from, and I'll, I'll have a look and see if I can hear you guys. Uh, could I have a bit of a test? Can you get this thing any higher? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, we should probably have to ask Matt about that. Like, put it up here. I, yeah, it might be a good idea. I daren't touch the thing because you know it has a tendency to fall apart. Oh, look at that! Perfect. <laughs> Sounds perfect too. Sounds good. Indeed, it does. Wonderful. Yeah, I'll I'll mention like if if the page turning becomes uh, yeah, a noisy thing. And, and like always pause after, um, after the first page. After yeah, we stop at the end and then we just go, page turn and we go, <coughs> Yeah, it's pretty much. Oh, right. And we don't, we don't do the song that we used to do before your time. And it's kind of annoying when the line there is something that has to be interrupted. And you're sitting going, oh, wait, I better learn that line so I can turn it so you can interrupt me in time. Otherwise it sounds like, and then he said, yeah. there's nothing up there. And if there, blah, 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 and if there is the E, is that just ESA? <coughs> Yep. Okay. Make sure I don't say ESA or some stupid No, nah, yeah, so. Yeah. Where's the fun in looking it up? I want to be able to see the comet for myself. And you will, but not tonight. At this stage, you're a bit reserved and a little bit hostile because you you to you just want to work out what's going on with your life, and and he's posing questions and saying that he's taking away all your basic rights and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So so. Um, Give an undercurrent of hatred, but mostly just a, a, a reservedness and, and sort of um, sit, sitting back with it, yeah. Okay. Nicole, could you possibly not step on Sorry. the cable there? <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Scene two, far away. Good morning. Good morning. What do you want? First, I think I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Peter Corman, and I hold the rank of Major in His Majesty's Armed Forces. No doubt this means precious little to you, so I'll explain. Don't bother, Major. I'm not incompetent. I serve in a covert government organisation known as the SCPIS, the Special Covert and Preternatural Investigative Sector. But the title's self-explanatory, if a little wordy. It is. Now, being that you potentially fall under the category of preternatural, and that the first nation you entered, albeit by ship, was Australia, you're our direct responsibility. So I'm assuming I'm still a little bit sceptical as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're wanting answers simply because you want to know what the hell knocked you over. Yeah. Okay. And um, Isabel just wants to hear the answers she wants to hear. She was the AIDS. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but you, uh, Isabel's especially overjoyed to, to be bringing this sighting information to, okay. to Dr. Baker. I was the one who touched it. <laughs> 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 you may have seen it. Oh, I touched it. Okay, now that we're done with uh, Kane talking about touching things, um, scene five and cue. Dr. Baker, you're never going to believe what we saw last night. Get a good look at the comet, did you? We found them. Found what? Aliens, Glynis. We saw the aliens. I'm grateful for the lead, but you need to eliminate all other possibilities before you can be sure. I'll tell you how sure I am. One of the buggers knocked me down. Close to the mic, and then we're going from there to end of scene. Okay, mate. Okay? okay. Call this yep. asshole or what a good one. <laughs> it's my last line. Take this off, it's going to ramble around too much. Take it off, take it all off! Oh, you just want the Marvin shirt. Yes. Hey, I've only got one line so as well. So we know. It's all the security guard and Baker. <laughs> oh, have you? we got yeah, one line got each. One line. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, um, did you guys want to stand over here so when yeah. you do your lines you can sort of pop yeah. out, as it were? Okay, you ready? <clears throat> I think so. Have you guys screwed? Um, oh, can, yeah, can I... Off? Can I look on yours? Yep. Yeah. 
Okay. Are you recording? Yep. Yep. It's going 37 seconds and counting. Okay. Get down from there. Yeah, you. That good? Yep, that's right. Okay. Any little green men up there, Miss Baker? No, wait, sorry, they're grey these days, aren't they? And you've got recruits now as well. How delightful. You get called an asshole a lot, don't you? Was that close enough? Um, yeah, that sounded okay. Okay. I should have you lot arrested for trespassing. Back off a bit, uh, VTOL, on that line. That's right. A bit of high-level distortion. I should have you lot arrested for trespassing. But... But I... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Try that again. But I'd fluff the line. Yes. <laughs> I should have you lot arrested for trespassing. But, but it'd be a waste of my time. You'd just come back again and again as long as these aliens of yours are supposedly around here. Consider yourself privileged. If you head up to the top of that tower, you'll be the fourth person in this community to see genuine alien technology. Tell me she's joking. It's true. What more? It could be some sort of a bomb. So it's a what's more. What, what did I say? What more? Oh, did I? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. It's true. What's more, it could be some sort of a bomb. Anthony, that's the last thing we need people to worry with. Sorry, we need to <laughs> worry people with. <laughs> three blind mice, three blind mice. Are they? Poor uh, mice. Yes, uh, you're on camera, Jacob, so <laughs> I, I, I heard about the Coke can and the, uh, the sign and everything. <laughs> And then Matt coming and grabbing me and dragging me away <laughs> and screaming. Uncle Dokes. Um, so yeah, we're looking at scene 10. Um, okay, now Nicole, mm -hmm. you're still trying to size him up, but by the end of the scene you start to discover he's basically the one person you know who you can actually hope to get along with. Okay. Um, and Jacob, you're sort of a bit professional. You're thinking, well, she's going to be my, my work partner. Obviously, I've got to make an impression. Um, Try, try to seem friendly and sociable and that sort of thing, and uh, you give a bit of background so you get a little reminiscent at times and that sort of thing. Struth. Okay. <laughs> Not Struth. No, please. No, no, please, just, Alf. That gets me into character. <laughs> <laughs> right, scene 10 and Q. I must say, this place certainly reminds me of home. Oh? Well, where is your home? Kumbara. Lovely place, till they mined it out. But this area isn't mined out. No. But this is what home looked like when I was a child. You're right. We should keep an objective eye. So who's first on our agenda? A journalist. A UFO expert. Glynis Baker. Cheers. You uh, lost the awkwardness a bit towards the end, but that's good. Like a gradual transition away from it. Yeah. Although, I tell you, nine years with that character, and I never saw that side of him. Well, well, as soon as I mentioned that I was from Kumbara. Yeah, well. Jeez, well, I've got to have some sort of strip mining background. I serve in a covert government organization known as the SCPIS. The last thing I need is a caretaker. You're my responsibility now, but you're also my orders. We found them. We saw the aliens. Are you serious? Look, what's all this alien nonsense? I'd like to get a better understanding of what we're dealing with here. That's need to know. And it's been deemed that I don't need to know. Tell me you're joking. Our studies of this planet have revealed its people to be a potential threat. International relations on this planet make it clear that they are intensely xenophobic and tend to shoot first. True, but that's perfectly normal paranoia, surely. We do not see it that way. I simply can't believe that paranoia is your real cause for concern. Sorry to burst your bubble, but they're right. That signal beacon was sending a report that Earth's only good for wiping out, wasn't it? You're mad! I'm maintaining the security of this planet! You're paranoid! These are dangerous people. With a right to live. It's a crazy world out there and we don't want it getting any crazier. I'm not sure this is something I want to join. Sometimes we don't have a choice. I'm no killer. Unlike some. Orders are orders. Remember that. They were right about you, about all of you.